The Disaster Artist is directed by James Franco and is based upon the book of the same name, co-written by Greg Sestero. The film stars James Franco, Dave Franco, Alison Brie and Seth Rogen and chronicles the making of one of the best worst movies, The Room. Now a basic understanding or appreciation of The Room is obviously beneficial but it's not mandatory because I feel like this movie gives you everything you need to know about these characters, about these people and, and gives you enough sort of backstory to appreciate The Room. Personally, I love The Room. I've watched it a good couple of times now. And I think everybody's familiar with the rooftop scene, the Oh Hi Mark scene. Um, everybody who is everybody knows what that scene is. There's several other fantastic scenes from The Room. Um, and basically this movie, as funny as The Room is, and as funny as The Disaster Artist is, this movie isn't to humiliate Tommy Wiseau and Greg Sestero. It's not... It's not to take the piss out of the room or to take the piss out of these people. It really just shows their friendship. It shows what it's like to be an outsider. It shows accepting who you are and also following your dreams. And I think that's a really, really important message to take away. This movie has far more heart than I was anticipating. There is one specific moment in this movie that really broke my heart. And I guess it's not a spoiler, but... There's the premiere for The Room at the end of the movie, and it's realising... It's Tommy Wiseau, James Franco as Tommy Wiseau, realising that the movie he's made is not the great American drama that he thought. And it really, it crushes you, because this is someone who has a dream, and who has worked hard at this dream, spent insane amounts of money on making this film on his own, with no studio backing, and then this movie ends up being not what he had anticipated, to say the least. It truly is heartbreaking. That leads me into James Franco's performance. He disappears into this role. I feel like I was watching Tommy Wiseau. And Tommy Wiseau is such an insane, eccentric character that for James Franco to make that person really, really heartfelt and sincere is a great achievement. I was not anticipating to love this movie as much as I did. I definitely wasn't anticipating feeling as moved as I was by this movie. I think the important thing about The Room is that as good or bad as it is, and I'm not being sarcastic when I say this, it takes a certain level of skill and understanding of the filmmaking craft to make a movie that is so bad that it's good. There are plenty of bad movies out there. Please, for the love of God, watch I Hate Everything's Search for the Worst. He's done a fuck ton of these reviews, They're like play-by-play -play commentaries of these movies, and it is incredible to see what kind of movies. And some of these movies are actually studio-based, so they're movies that have been financed by someone else and made and distributed, and that is just insane. I, at least from the trailers, anticipated this movie to be a comedic retelling of the making of The Room. And it really, it, it's that's such a small portion of this movie. The movie is so much more about their relationship and it shares a lot with, I would say, The Social Network with a movie that is based on, it's something bigger than these two characters, but the movie is still based on these two characters. And I have to say that James Franco and Dave Franco's chemistry in this movie is fucking phenomenal. Is phenomenal. There's... And I think, I mean, I'm not really a huge fan of Dave Franco. In most of the things I've seen him in, he usually plays an asshole. And that seems to suit him. But in this, Jesus, you can really, you get this impression from Dave Franco. And maybe it's, it's almost meta. Um, because I've never seen James Franco and Dave Franco in a movie together. The way Dave Franco plays Greg Sestero, he's so blindly supportive of Tommy Wiseau. And... You can see it in his performance, you can see it in his eyes, that he knows Tommy is an eccentric, he knows that Tommy is potentially <laughs> insane, but he's so supportive because at this time, I guess nothing like that had ever really happened before. Someone is going outside of the studio system to make a feature-length film and distribute it themselves. And that you, you, you've got to give credit to Tommy and the, his team for that, because it is just incredible that... 15 years later, The Room is still being talked about. If you get chance to watch The Room before you watch The Disaster Artist, I think you'll have an even 
bigger appreciation for both movies. I was thoroughly entertained by The Disaster Artist. It's easily one of the best films I've seen this year so far. The Disaster Artist gets an A. If you enjoyed this video, please click like. If you have something to say, leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.